Hey guys, this is Kodajit, your best friend in programming and today I am back again with another video on Electron. In this video, I will show you how to run external files and apps from an Electron app. You can do things like open a browser, execute a shell script, run another executable or anything similar using this method. So let's get started but before that, hit that like button hard and gently poke the subscribe and notification buttons so that you'll continue seeing videos from me. So I've got my empty application here. This is my boilerplate code. And if you want access to this boilerplate code, you can look on my GitHub repo. It's in the description and you shall find it. So when you run this app, it's pretty basic. What I've got here is just a form with two buttons. The first button should open Codajit YouTube channel. This is going to be opening a web browser instance. And with the second button, what I want to do is I want to load the Windows Explorer. Right now, nothing is happening because the code is empty and we're going to write it. But just a little bit of a word about how this will work. Now, if you are familiar with the electron processes, there is the render process and the main process to load the system objects, to load something that is on the system you will need to use the main process. You cannot do it from the render process because that will connect mostly to the web browser end of the app. So what you need to do is you need to make a call from the render process, that's where our button is, to the main process. And to do that, we will need to use something called a preload script. So in the preload script, I've got a bridge with two functions, open code Ajit and load explorer. And these two functions are doing nothing but calling the load explorer function and open codajit function from the main process. Now, if you want to know more about the render process, main process, and inter-process communications, I've got a pretty good video on my channel. You can just go to my YouTube channel and find it. It's described pretty much in detail over there. And in the main HTML code, in the interface, I've got two buttons, open YouTube, load explorer, calling two functions from the viewer script. So in the view script, I've got those two functions again, open code G and load explorer, which are using the index bridge to call those two functions from the preload file. So I hope the setup is a little bit clearer to you. And eventually from the IPT renderer, when the call to the main process is done, we go to the main.js in this particular project and I've got IPC main handle do something and load explorer this should be called open code cheat and load explorer so now we got a writer code to make things happen let's make open code cheat work first to do this we're going to use a node.js module shell module which is a part of the node.js module standard module library to bring it in we're just going to do this const shell require Electron. This is a part of the Electron library actually. And now we should be able to call shell. Let's go back to open code Ajit and put in shell dot open external. And we'll just put in the URL of our YouTube channel. Let me pull it up. This, this should work. And now if I run the project, let's see what happens. There we are. And you can see the channel opens up right away. So it's a browser instance that was opened using the shell module, open external command, and it worked pretty well. Now to do this function, to do to load explorer, we can use the same system. We can call shell open external, but instead of an HTTP call, we will need to make a call to the file system. So let's see how to do that. We'll just copy over this line, the same line should do. And shell open external instead of HTTP we're going to use the file protocol and it's not going to be youtube.com of course so we're going to put in windows and if you know that the explorer exe that's the windows explorer it's right in the windows folder and now let's run it and see what happens got the app over here load windows explorer and nothing happened let's see what happens Yep, there is some kind of error. So what we need to do is we don't need a double slash over here. What we need is a single slash. So let's try again. 
And one more thing, we need to provide the hard disk letter to the hard disk path to. It's a double slash, all right, hard disk path. And let's write now. And load Windows Explorer. And yes, it loads right away. This is the Windows Explorer. It loaded when I click the button. You can't, yep, you can see it here now. So this is the standard method of doing this in Explorer, uh, in in Electron using shell. You can call shell open external and you can you can pass it a web path or you can even path, pass it the path of the application that you want to run. But there is also another way using the Node.js runtime. So you know that Electron is actually built over the Node.js runtime and the system resources are controlled using Node.js and you can call a Node.js function directly to do this, to load an external file. And I'm going to show you that method. Now, this particular function lives in the child module in Node.js. So we just brought it in, it's child process from Node. And now we can refer to the child object, we can call functions on it. And I'm just going to modify the load explorer file. Let's comment this out. And what you're going to do is, you need to call child because we've already made it a function. It refers to the exec file. So if you remove this, then you could call child.exec file. But in this particular instance, we have already got exec file over here. The function is here. So we'll just say child and then we'll put in the path. And this time we need, need the actual the hard disk path. We don't need the file protocol. We don't need to specify it. So just put in the file path. And notice that we are using backward slashes this time. So you got to double slash it. And then you need to have a function with success or failure. So error is the failure. If it fails, you can trap that and console log it or do whatever with it that you want. And just let's just return from here. And if it doesn't fail, what you can do is you can do something with the result too. So to be printed but in this particular instance we are, lo we are loading the explorer exe so i think it's going to be returned so let's take it a take it for a spin let's see what happens here we are and load windows explorer yep that worked fine so this is how to run a child process using the node.js child exit file function now you can also send parameters to this function let's see how to do that one of the things we can do with the explorer exe is pass in the folder that it should open at and to do that we need to pass a parameter and we can just add a new option a new argument over here and it's a it's an array so you can add multiple arguments too but in this case all I want to do is add that path and we'll open it at the root let's run it again now and here we are you can see that by default now explorer opens at root and the root folder is selected but if we deleted this and you run it it will open by default on quick access or not the root folder for sure so you see how parameters work if you bring it back it should open again at root and here we go you can see that root is selected C drive is selected. So you now know how you can load up external processes, paths, web browser, application, you can load up websites, and even external processes, you can pass an arguments. If you have a background batch file or a process that runs in the background, you can use this, pass in, uh, pass in your arguments, even get results and display the results to your user. I hope this tutorial was useful. And if you liked it, if it was useful to you don't forget to like it and subscribe to me because i'm going to make a series of real world programming tutorials and i will see you again in the next one this is Kodajit, your best friend in programming signing off